Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to talk about what it was like playing video games as a kid and what it's like now playing video games as an adult. And I can tell you that it is very different, like in some ways, and in other ways it's pretty much the exact same thing. So the main thing is like, I, I really like, if I just play a game casually, like, the only difference is I have friends to talk to. Like, before, um, I didn't really get into online gaming until 2000, I want to say it was 11 or 12, something like that. So the only difference is I have someone on the other side of the headset. But if I just sit down and play, like, I feel exactly the same as when I was, like, a kid, right? Now, I will say I don't force myself to play games I don't like anymore. Like, I remember as a kid one time... Or many times, actually. Um, I would play, like, Call of Duty, right? And I really wouldn't like it, but I'd play it for, like, eight hours. Just feel horrible afterwards. Uh, same when I was, like, a teenager, when I was playing Rainbow Six Siege. But now I really won't do it anymore. Like, I won't... Like, if I get mad at a game... Like, I tell my friend Austin this when, when I'm, we're playing Siege, for instance. I'm like, Austin, that made me the big mad. This is my last siege round. And just stop, switch games. Because it's not the end of the world, right? Now, sometimes if we're streaming, I'll kind of like... When we're streaming, I feel less pressure. So, you know, there's that. But unless we're really trying to complete a challenge or something, I won't I won't do that in a game. Um, now, I do notice, as an adult, a lot more, dare I say dubious things that video games do, right? So, like, um, if I was, a, like, a child and I was playing, like, an RPG or something like that, or something with a level-up system, I wouldn't really notice if it was like, oh, this is just grindy so that it makes you try to buy something, or this is just grindy so that it artificially makes the game longer. Now, as an adult, I'm like, are you serious? They're doing this? Right? Like, um, Rainbow Six Siege, right? It doesn't, it just has that system where it adds XP onto every level or every couple levels. Then, like, Call of Duty or something like, okay, Clash of Clans, right? Or Clash Royale, sorry. They have the Battle Pass tournaments, right? And it's like, if you finish the tournament, there's, like, the rewards you get, but then there's the rewards that you can pay for right? And I'm like, okay, this is a good system because it's win-based and you don't have to buy it out of the gate. You can just buy it after you win to see if you really get your 500 gems worth of stuff. And I'm like, I like that system, even though it's a stupid system, right? And I also noticed I won't buy a lot of things in games anymore. Like, I remember one time someone gave me Google Play money and I bought it on like gems in Clash of Clans without thinking. And I was like, yeah, woo! And I barely played Clash of Clans. I don't know why I did it. Whereas now, if someone gave that to me, I'd be like, do I want to buy gems in Clash Royale? Right? And I'd be like, mmm, maybe. I would actually think I would buy gems once I saw a good deal that I actually wanted to spend my gems on. So I noticed, like, just purchasing is very different. I also, like, am more critical of games. Like, I won't... I don't think... Like, I think the only time I really, like, have pre-ordered a game is if someone buys it for me, right? Like, I think ever since 2017, I haven't really pre-ordered a game because I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, right? I'm like, well, I don't, don't want to pre-order it. Or season passes, I'm like, no. Like, I remember Call of Duty World War II. I bought the season pass and, like... I have not... I've played, like, a DLC map twice from one DLC. I'm not going to sit there and buy another season pass, you know. And I'm also better at video games as an adult. And I've, I know how to improve faster at video games. Like, I'm willing to spend, like, on Siege, I'm willing to spend 10 minutes doing aiming drills before I go play. Or I'm willing to sit there and play, a, like, if we're winning a match, right... Swap characters to figure out how to use someone. I'm willing to do that more, at, whereas before I would just be like, yeah, I'm the best, blah, blah, like, you know, just do the best every time. 
And so I noticed I improve at video games faster as an adult. And I, I can switch up my strategies better too, right? Like, even a game like Oblivion that I played a lot as a kid and not a lot as an adult, I can switch up my strategies faster. Like, it's very weird. It's very weird to me, but I did notice it. So that's really what it, what's it for this video. That's it. Um, pretty weird. Just an idea that I shut out on a limb. But if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on video games. I guess at this point, there's no real game. I'm the opposite of the casual gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam at post. Whatever I said to make.